Friends, the machine I'm going to do together with you would be Pentester Lab S2 52 052. Actually, this is the some vulnerability, some sorts of vulnerability of struts. You know, struts is MVC framework of Java. If you think the exploitation of this vulnerability of this machine is easy, I think you're wrong. Let me show you what will problem possibly you will encounter. Before we go ahead, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You're greatly appreciated. So now we can switch or go into the Canonix VM. First of all, we need to discover the IP address of the target. As you can see over here, and next we need to do the port scanning. Of course, I've already done that earlier to save time. And uh, so for now, we just cut out the result. As you can see over here, as usual, I use the option like since scan, the version scan, the default script scan, followed by the dash p dash to do the full range port scan. The last option of all is on. Here, the n is uppercase and I'll put the result into this file. So from the map scanning, we can tell that the target has only one open port number, 80, which is running HTTP surface, and also give us the version information, Apache Tomcat. I think we have already done uh, some, some machines, which is also running Tomcat, okay? So what we are going to do next, we need to do the man emulation by the browser. Let's launch our browser and put the IP address of the target into the address bar. So very simple web page we can get from the target, from the web application, because the author has already left a very clear message this machine or this web application is vulnerable to struts S252 vulnerability. And if you use Google, you make some search, research, you know that Metasploit has corresponding module. Before we try to manually exploit this vulnerability, I think it will be much wiser. We use Metasploit because Metasploit can make things to be more convenient and more effective, all right? So now we can launch our Metasploit console. Okay, then we want to search struts. And I think this module is what we want. And um, following the instruction of the loom. Okay, so now we can use uh, this module. And uh, then, of course, now we are given the default payload is this one. And uh, we can, of course, next, I think, first of all, we need to select a target. This case target is not Unix, Windows, maybe this one is the right choice. So we can set the Linux, set the target to Linux. Okay, now if you set a payload or you can use show payloads, you can see now the available options would be different. Would be starting from like Linux and generic. So now we can set the payload and um, usually we use the, for example, the 64 and the, the mid-splitter reverse 
because the manipulator is the strongest payload. So now we can show options, and then we need to set a local host to our Canon Linux, and then set a local port number to 555, set a remote host to our target, set a remote port number to 80, not 8080, set the serve host to Canon Linux as well, set uh, also, we want to change the target URI, URI, <clears throat> sorry, target URI to orders three, and then we can run it. However, exploit is completed, but no session was created. I think this is the point I want to emphasize to you. Not, um, you know, maybe the default or not all payloads can work for the target. We need to try um, as many as, po we need to try payloads as many as possible until we can find the correct or proper work, proper one, okay? In this case, to be, on, to be honest, when I did the machine the first time, I tried many, many payloads. But I think this one can work. Linux and uh, 86 and uh, shell, reverse TCP, and then we can show options again. I think we do not need to change anything else. So now we can run it. As you can see, command on shell, command, shell session were opened. Great. So now we can run command. Even we have already got the loot shell. If you want to, of course, we need to check the Python. If you want to spawn the interactive shell, Python 3, Python 3 is not there, bash i, not found anyway. So now we can navigate to loot directory. Or you can spawn, for example, run some other reverse shell command to spawn another shell. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, now we have already done this machine successfully. All right, so that's all I'd like to cover in this video. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day, please.